St. Patrick's Day. Thank you. Uh, before we start talking about anything else, we just want to start off with a song first. This is a, a funk tune called Don't Be Silly. <laughs> Try to find something green and 
I couldn't find anything green to wear. So next year, I promise I'll come with something green. I think this table over here told me if I go to Walmart, I can find something. So I definitely will do that. Um, first of all, it's, it's great, and I'm so proud of these uh, uh, young men and women behind me. I don't know if you remember, last month we came here with uh, some fifth graders, and you had an opportunity to see where these young people start in learning to play an instrument. And what's really nice about it, they started out that way too, and just look how far that they've come. So we're really, really proud of our program here in Barfield Heights City Schools. In fact, if I look behind me, I do remember these, some of these were children, I should say children, students of mine when I was the principal of William Foster. Uh, and I know back then they had a love of music when they were second and third graders, so I'm really proud that they've stuck with uh, their love of music and playing a, a, an instrument. Uh, on the other hand, I want to talk to you about something else that's happening exciting with Garfield Heights City Schools. Uh, we're, we're undergoing testing right now, and our students are prepared to take the Ohio graduation test. They're doing very well. This past year, we had our highest graduation rate of 92% of our students graduating from high school, and that's our highest we've ever had here in Garfield Heights, so we're real proud of that. Uh, for you sports fans out there, I'm not sure if you've uh, kept track of it. Our uh, boys basketball team has won their first uh, district championship in 61 years. So let's give them a hand. In case you didn't watch the news last night, we played St. Edwards High School. And for the second time in one season, that doesn't happen too often, uh, St. Edwards has a great program. But our Garfield Heights Bulldogs uh, beat them in our first regional game at St. Edwards last night, 79-72. to So we're on, to, we're on our way. One more game and we get our head to the state tournament. So we're real proud of that. Uh, before I turn it over to Mr. Saluka to talk to you a little bit about the state budget, I wanted to present a picture to Martha, who um, took a picture with us the last time we, we framed it. And we'll, we'll, we'll do more of this too, but uh, Martha, if you want to come up and get your picture, we appreciate it. Thank you. Have a good day. How many of you thought you were going to get away without a financial update, huh? No financial update here because we're here to hear the band, right? No, no, I want to hear the You want to hear the financial picture of where we're at? Yes, Well, all I can tell you is that we have a new governor, and I think you've been reading in the paper about all the uh, reductions that he's made. Two of the biggest ones are to local governments, and the other one was to schools. So schools took a big hit. And you've heard me say before that uh, most of the school funding for Garfield Heights, 55%, comes from the state of Ohio. Yeah. So taking a 10% cut, we're losing actually over $2 million in state funding. Losing. We're not gaining. We're losing over $2 million in state funding. So we're going to be taking a big hit with the governor's uh, new budget that's out there, and we're going to have uh, some issues with that. So but we're working through it because what we've done is we've properly planned. We've properly planned for this day to come. We didn't plan for how big it was, but we were planning. But that doesn't get us out of the woods because that's just one year, and it's a two-year budget. And the following year is not going to get any better, especially if, uh, if it stays still in the hole. So that's why we need to uh, all work together to keep our schools, schools strong. And why we need to keep them strong, just look behind me. That's why we need to keep them strong. We can't be losing programs like music. We can't be losing programs like athletics. And we definitely can't be losing programs like academics, AP courses. So we are working very hard to keep our schools fiscally solvent. But as you can see and hear from the governor's budget, it's going the wrong way. So I guess it's up to us. And that's what the governor has said. It's what the state legislature has said. It's up to the local communities to determine how strong your schools are. So it is up to us. But that's where we're at. I mean, we're not here to talk about, I guess I got all the negative news, but we're not here to talk about the negative news. We're actually here to listen to the band. So we'll be around afterwards. We have a lot of activities going. So. Uh, just keep, uh, if you have a chance, you know, neighborhood news. We have a community newsletter coming out. 
We're on the TV station. We're going to have this up and running on TV. We have the website. Get your information. Go out there, and if you need some answers, we're always available for answers, and we're, that's why we're here. So without further ado, I'm going to turn it back over to Mr. Ludington. Thank you. Okay, so now we're going to get into the, the main portion of our program this afternoon. And uh, we have a nice mix of some standards and some newer tunes for you guys today. And I thought the, the one we start off the main portion of our, our program with is, is a classic. Uh, it's called Caravan. Yeah. <laughs> 